Welcome to the counselor tutorial for managing alerts and tags. We'll begin within the patient administration screen. Then we'll look specifically at the alerts and tags section. Now just a quick definition here. Alerts are a free field option. I mean, you can type in anything that you want. So if the patient left their wallet in the office, right? You could note that. You put in whatever custom text you want and then click save at the bottom of the screen. That will lock in that uh, phrase and then will be visible in multiple places throughout the system. For example, when you're scheduling, when you're looking up this patient's profile, of course, within their profile. Uh, so you have that information at your fingertips. Okay. Uh, now let's compare that to tags. Tags, very similar idea where you can have, uh, you can add obviously tags or notes to a patient profile, except for these are predefined and you control this list. We'll look at that in just a bit. Uh, but let's look here at the general tags. You can have whatever list it is that you like. Of course, as we saw with uh, the option there with alert, uh, instead of having to type it in, you would simply just select whatever it is that you wish to add, okay? And you can control the color scheme. There's some different things you can do to customize this whole process. Now, in addition to alert and general tags, you also have the ability to create custom tag groups. So whatever you like, if you, you want something distinct that you wish to track, you can certainly do that. You can have as many tag groups as you like. And then within those groups, of course, you have the specific areas uh, that you wish to track. Okay. Um, as, of course, you're adding uh, to that list, it also means that later on you have the ability to track by these. Not only can you see them in real time, but you can look retrospectively and say, across all our patient database, show me. Right? Or I want to run a search, but I want to exclude certain uh, patients from the list for a specific reason. Okay, so, uh, so the most common area of course that's utilized here is in the uh, patient administration screen. It's important to note that the same tools we have here are also available while you are creating a chart note. So let's just look at that briefly. I'll jump into the chart notes area and you can see once again here we have the general tags and the tag groups. Okay, so while you are creating a chart note, you have the ability to go ahead and say, all right, let's go ahead and add something here. Now you, of course, can uh, start typing in whatever it is that you wish, and you'll see your list there. So it can be modified from the patient administration screen. It also can be modified from within the chart note. And there you see the change that we just made. Okay. Now, <clears throat> to accompany this, there's also the ability to have what we call device tags. That's the ability where, just like we saw here with the tags, when you have a hearing instrument within the device itself, you can add specific tags as well. So a lot of flexibility there. Um, once again, you set the tags up very specifically. So let's actually have a look at that. Um, underneath administration, the top menu bar, and then off to the right, there is a section for tags. And this is where you can define, will these be general tags or will they be a special group? Right, and so then you can pop in there and you can say which is which. Um, so it gives you the ability to set up as many different tags as you want. You can have your own color scheme. Uh, now this is also a very important setting, this alert. Alert is going to take that tag and it's gonna raise it to the level where you'll see it uh, in different sections of the system. Okay, so let's, let's kind of go right into where you see these tags. Then we'll come back to this administration screen. So there we had a patient named Steve Carey, okay. When we look up his profile, we can see it's in red. That tells us that if we hover, we're gonna see some important information. And I notice here it says patient left wall in office, translator needed, and nation's hearing. When I click into his profile, what you'll notice the one that doesn't show there is dementia. That's because you'll, you'll notice here dementia does not have a red outline. That tells us that dementia is not, uh, does not have that alert um, feature activated within that tag administration. Right, whereas the, whereas the others do, here, tra uh, translator needed and nation's hearing. So what that does, if you have the alert uh, added, it basically says, hey, when you're doing a search for this patient, when you're looking at them on the schedule, make sure that those are visible, right, during the scheduling process. So if I wanted uh, dementia, for example, to have the alert, no problem, you just hop back into administration, you go into tags, right, and then you can go ahead and uh, change that one, right? So you could say, all right, let's find dementia, and let's go ahead and modify. You can see right now it's not set up to be an alert, but we can make it alert if we wanted. Okay. And now if we go back to if we were go back to, to Steve's profile, we would then see that the dementia is uh, as an alert. So a lot of flexibility here within the setup itself to make sure that you uh, have what you need. <clears throat> you also can disable, right? So if you have tags you no longer need, uh, you can go ahead and disable them. 
It will maintain the tag within a patient profile, so you won't lose that, um, but it means it's, they're no longer on your active list. So very flexible overall as to how you kind of see and interact with these tags. Okay. Um, now I've mentioned that uh, you can see this from the schedule. I can show you what that actually looks like. So let's go ahead and let's schedule an appointment here for, or we'll start scheduling an appointment for this patient. And there we go. So there's his profile. Now we can see all of those notes while we're in the scheduling process. Now this can be very important for a few reasons. One is, let's say the patient owes you money. Uh, it's good to know that right now, instead of you know after you schedule the appointment, then realizing, oh, we've got outstanding, you know, the patient has bad debt we need to address. Um, you can see this straight away, and the other things that you may need to know, translator, etc. Okay. Um, then of course, once you do schedule this patient, you'll see this information once again from the schedule, uh, just by hovering over uh, their profile, and then you see all those um, uh, tags and alerts, okay? Once again, you can always hop into a patient's profile and make changes. So for example, if the patient left his wallet, came back, you know, 20 minutes later, right? You can pop in, okay, we gave his wallet back. Let's go ahead and remove this. And maybe I, I didn't intend to have dementia on there. Okay, let's go ahead and remove that and then save. And now your changes are in place going forward, okay? As I mentioned, you can search for this as well. Um, through different ways. You can use the, the search uh, patient search feature. Um, there are tools specifically for patient tags and device tags. So you can search and say, hey, show me patients that have these types, th this tag, or does not have this tag. There's also tools within the dashboard. If you're doing specific uh, work, let's say you want to find all patients with hearing instruments over four years of age, uh, but you want to maybe refine that a little bit. So then you could go ahead and um, use the tags feature to then either uh, to, to, to filter that list further. Okay, so these tags show up in a lot of places, not only just for kind of that immediate communication, hey, let's know what's happening for this patient across staff members, um, uh, you know, of course in real time, but also later on when you wish to do some searching as well. Now there's additional tools built in regarding these uh, tags that can be really helpful as well. So let's jump here under administration to the line item list. There are times when you want, you may want tags to be added automatically. A common snare for that would be with bad debt. So we're gonna look here at the adjustment line item type. Let's just say that we had um, uh, written off some debt for this patient, and let's say it was one to $100, okay? So you can create these adjustment types uh, if you do not already have them in there. Uh, but let's take that adjustment type. Now, in addition to adding that you know, uh, adjustment to the invoice and, you know, writing it down and showing that that, that that was uncollectible, you also have the ability to then automatically put a patient tag within the patient's profile, right? In this case, bad debt, one to $100. You could also do a device tag. Wouldn't necessarily apply in this scenario, but there may be scenarios where it does apply. And what that would mean is, okay, we are adding the adjustment to the invoice. We're writing it down to $33.18 that they owed us. Uh, but now it puts a tag in their profile. So next time that patient calls, maybe two years later, and they want to schedule an appointment, you know right away, oh, this patient has bad debt. You know, maybe that's an opportunity to collect that past due amount, or at least just be aware that that patient has previously had bad debt. Um, you want to take that into account, of course, with any transactions going forward. Okay, so there's a lot of flexibility with, uh, with these tags, uh, both the patient tags and the device tags. Uh, from being able to utilize them within the patient profile, as well as, uh, you know, throughout the rest of the system, whether you're searching or you're doing filtering uh, via widgets or general patient searching. So please let us know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very, very much for joining us for the counselor tutorial for managing alerts and tags.